What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and while I've been trying to avoid as much speculation as possible, it's been the biggest question going around lately, and that's my perspective and everything I know as far as speculation-wise about the upcoming new GPUs from NVIDIA, which will be on the Turing platform and will be named anything like 1170 and 1180. I have some information here. Keep in mind that all of this is subject to change and I will be speaking to it from more of a cryptocurrency mining aspect than a gaming aspect. We'll cover gaming when that isn't being covered by other channels and of course we'll cover it when we get our hands on the cards as early as this summer, so stick around. Welcome back. So here's all of the leaked specs and details for the 1180 and the 1170. We have a 12 nanometer FinFET architecture and it's going to be on the GT104 as opposed to the previous gen being on GP. P is in Paul. 104 so very similar in names there however the manufacturing process is down to 12 nanometer from the 16 nanometer which should offer some benefits as far as power consumption of course and we'll see that as we talk about more of this we don't know the die size yet on the 1180 and speaking of the 1180 we do see an increase in CUDA cores from the 2560 on the GTX 1080 to a 3584 so that's something along the lines of a 1080 ti or getting close to that as far as amount of cuda cores we're seeing a projected core clock of 1405 megahertz to 1582 megahertz on the boost clock and this is going to be for of course the founders editions or the initial launch third party manufacturers will most likely increase this and this is going to be something that's going to change as we get closer to the release dates and get finalized specs. The boost clock expected here is going to be around 1800 megahertz and we are looking at an increase from 8.7 teraflops to about 13 teraflops on the 1180. So that's a pretty big increase. You're talking about almost 5 teraflops there. You're talking about a 50% increase in performance over the previous gen 1080, which should net us well above the GTX 1080 Ti current performance. The memory interface is a 256-bit bus, and the memory itself is going to be projected to be 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, and this will be the first time we see GDDR6 in production, as opposed to the 8 gigabytes of GDDR5X we saw on the GTX 1080. The memory speed is projected to be 12 gigabits per second, as opposed to the 10 gigabits per second on previous gen, and the bandwidth is going to be an increase from 320 gigabits per second to 384 gigabits a second. The total TDP is going to increase here, surprisingly enough, from the 180 watts on the GTX 1080 to 200 watts on the 1180. The launch, like I said earlier, is projected for around Q3 2018, which should be this summer. And the launch MSRP is going to be probably around that Founders Edition price of the 1080 and maybe a little bit more. So you're talking about around $699. And of course, depending on how the market shifts and how much cryptocurrency goes up and how people handle all of the ASICs entry into cryptocurrency could increase significantly just because that's what we've seen in the GPU market as it seems to match, of course, the price of Bitcoin. Moving on to the 1170, it's going to be on the same 12 nanometer FinFET manufacturing process. So a decrease in size there from the 1070 or the previous gen. It'll be on the same GT104. And the amount of CUDA cores is actually going to be a little bit short of that of the 1080 Ti's while the projected performance is supposed to be around the same. The amount of CUDA cores is going to be 2,688 versus the 1920 that was on the previous gen GTX 1070. You have a projected core clock of 1500 megahertz 
megahertz with the same projected boost clock of uh, 1800 megahertz and this will once again change depending on what third party manufacturers are able to obtain you are going to see a memory interface of a 256 bit bus so a pretty significant cut down there so pretty much exactly what we saw previous generation and as far as memory they don't know the actual quantity it's going to be somewhere between 8 and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 the big note here is it's going to be GDDR6 and not GDDR5 so as opposed to the previous generation where the 1080 got the GDDR5X and the 1070 just got plain old GDDR5 both models here are going to have the latest offerings from Nvidia as far as memory goes you're going to have a memory speed of 12 gigabits per second projected compared to the 8 gigabits per second projected on the 1070 and the memory bandwidth is going to be 384 gigabits a second compared to the 256 on the 1070. The TDP is the projected to be between 140 and 160 watts. The 1070 is around 150 watts and once again we're looking at a projected release date of the summer Q3 2018 and a launch MSRP of around the Founders Edition price of the 1070 of 499 US dollars. The projected performance is going to go from the 6.5 teraflops on the 1070 to now 9.75 teraflops on the 1170, which is equivalent to a GTX 1080 Ti. So if projections are correct here, once again, the 70 series of this will be the more appealing one for miners, in my humble opinion, for price to performance and power consumption. Coming in at around 140 to 160 watts is going to be beneficial, and getting that hash rate that you would previously get with the the big old boy GTX 1080 Ti is also going to be awesome. We don't know, however, how that memory is going to react, of course, and we aren't seeing a huge increase in memory performance per se. So we really don't know exactly what's going to happen here with more of the memory intensive algorithms such as ET hash and Equihash. Well, pretty much anything that you mine with, we could say that of course the algorithms where the core clock matters a little bit more even in something like Equihash that based on the projected numbers those aren't going to see much of an improvement unless that new manufacturing process goes ahead and changes something there we are going to see basically like we've seen in the past with of course all of the new generation cards an increase in performance and basically a performance at the 1170 price tier that the previous gen 1080 ti performance would be so either way we're going to get better cards and better hash rates but by how much is a little bit hard to project like I said, I think you'll be seeing the 1170 perform on the 1080 Ti performance and be prepared for that. As far as MSRP, we discussed that a little bit uh, previously in this video and like I stated, I still stand by the fact that we really can't project the price on this because Nvidia knows that the GPUs are in demand and if the cryptocurrency demand goes up, I wouldn't doubt that we would see third party manufacturers as well as Nvidia and retailers jack the price up on initial launch to go ahead and make some extra bucks. Hopefully they won't and there'll be some options for us to grab them and we'll be able to go ahead and get some functional testing going on on some awesome workbenches. Let me know what you guys think about touring. Are you excited about it for mining? Are you excited about it for gaming? Do you think this is going to be an option that we're going to be able to actually start playing 4K 60 FPS at a cheaper price point? It is interesting, of course, on the gaming side that we have the Xbox One X pushing out 4K 60 FPS, pretty about medium settings in most cases. While if you wanted to do that on the PC side, the 1080 is going to be about the minimum that you want to grab, and that's going to cost you a pretty penny, around $599 to $799, depending on the day and time. So. I'm not really sure as far as the gaming aspect if this is a big improvement. I would rather see a 60 series being able to pull some of these numbers out. You know, I'd rather see a GTX 1160 
pulling out numbers like the 1170 is currently so that we could get on to the next generation of resolution in gaming. And then as far as the mining side goes, I'm a little bit nervous about GDDR6. However, the memory bandwidth increase should be a good thing. I think that that's going to help. The memory speed, of course, is going to be a good thing here as well, going up to that 12 gigabits per second. But a lot of the tools that have come out recently to improve the hash rate on GDDR5X will need to be retooled for GDDR6. And so you might see a case on initial launch where the GTX 1080 Ti is still a better bang for the buck as far as mining goes. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash sonofatech underscore. Join us in Discord to continue the conversation, and I will see you next Tuesday.